we're going to have a look at how we can tell which decimal is bigger or smaller. Imagine we are asked which is bigger, 0, 0,82 or 0, 0,49. Now it might be immediately obvious to you, but just stick with me because it's really important to understand this well. Let's first get a picture of 0, 0,82. So 0, 0,82, remember you've got 8 tenths, so those are 8 red pieces there. And then 2 hundredths, which are just these two little yellow pieces. You can see that the 2 hundredths are just two tiny little yellow pieces. They don't contribute much to the overall size of the decimal relative to the 8 big red pieces. What about 0, 0,49? Well, I've got 4 tenths and then nine of these little hundredth pieces. Now it's very obvious that this 0, 0,82 is bigger than 0, 0,49. And in fact, all I'd need to look at is what was happening in the tenths place here. To see this has got eight, eight tenths, so it's got eight of the red pieces. This has got four tenths, it's got four of the tenths pieces. And because 8 is bigger than 4, 0, 0,82 is going to be bigger than 0, 0,49. These little yellow pieces, even though there are 9 of them, they don't even make up one whole red piece yet. So they're not actually going to make a difference to which of these two is bigger. And if you thought of it in terms of, of money even, if I asked you which is more, 82 cents or 49 cents, it's obvious, right? 82 cents is more. Why am I making a big fuss of this? Because, I mean, that's, this is all fairly obvious. Well, let me put, give you an example where it isn't as obvious and where people do make mistakes. If you have a look at this, if I asked you which of these two was bigger, it's very, very tempting to say this is bigger because <clears throat> it looks bigger. But if you compare... This is a zero there in the tenths place, and this has a one in the tenths place. And so this one, in fact, is bigger. And just to sh show you with a picture, 0 0.1 means you've got one whole tenth block. Here, if you've got 0, 0,09, remember you've only got nine of the hundredths. It doesn't quite fill that first block. So it is, in fact, smaller than 0, 0,1. And this little eight is just eight thousandths and I can't even try and depict a thousand it's so thin it'll be such a thin little rectangle on this thing so it's going to still be smaller than the 0 0.1 the important thing is we're looking at the place value to help us decide which is bigger so if you were asked to write these in descending order Remember, descending means going from biggest to smallest. The easiest way to do it is simply to pop them into a place value table and then compare. Once in the place value table, it's very easy for us to start comparing. And we start comparing from the biggest place value, because that's the thing that will have the most worth, uh, down. So let's look at the tens position. They've all got a two, so they're all 20 in the tens position. That isn't going to tell us anything. Here, in the ones position, they've all got a three. So they're all the same in the ones position. So that's not going to help us decide. Now we move to the tenths. And here we can see this one has got six in the tenths position. And that's bigger than the other two. So this one is the biggest. Then we move on from there to the hundredths position. And here we've got a five versus a two. So this is a bigger one than this. And so this is the second position and this is the third.